Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Elisa coming to you, de Belamente y tú y yo. <laughs> From Beautifully Me and You. And today, I thought I'd bring you guys all the planners. You see them? You see them? They all here. I even ordered a couple new ones just so I can make sure they were blank as we were doing a quick review of each one. So if you want to purchase any of my budgeting planners or savings challenges book, you'll know what's inside. Definitely, you will get all the information you need from me in regards to these planners today. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, you guys, before we get started, um, let's get into the April showers. Why did I hold that note like that? Nobody knows. So I'm going to put all of these little planners away because we're going to be talking about those shortly. But for right now, you see what's underneath them? My laptop, because we need to pick a winner from last time. So before we get into this week, let's go ahead and talk about what the question was from last week. And I want to say, y'all, I got too hungry eating, reading all those um, replies to the question. I was like, why did I ask them about their favorite food? Knowing I'm a foodie, knowing I'm supposed to be on some type of weight loss journey, and all I'm hearing about is pizza and lasagna and Alfredo's and fried shrimp and uh, any kind of seafood and french fries and... Uh, tacos oh my god how did i forget mexican food tacos and sopes and enchiladas and oh the list goes on and on and on i think oh and oxtails oh my gosh i think the list goes on and on and there was literally one thing that somebody commented that i didn't know anything about <laughs> somebody commented about um i'm trying to think what was it you'll know if it was you but one person commented about something that i had to look up other than that i have probably ate everything you guys suggested down below and i would agree all of it is good. I love the comments that said they were unable to pick because they loved everything. I swear that's almost me, but I do have a favorite food. Mine is French fries, specifically French fries. And I like French fries cut from the potato at home and cooked in grease. Not fast food French fries, but home cooked French fries. That is my absolute favorite. And a fun fact about me, I almost burned down my house when I was 14 years old from leaving the grease on too long and falling asleep as I was cooking french fries. French fries has always been my favorite food. And I would say as far as dessert, my favorite desserts or sweets are donuts and ice cream. I can eat that every day. But right now, I've been kind of like, you know, restricting myself from eating it too often just because I'm trying to get on my fitness and wellness journey. All right, so that's a little bit of our last question. So let's go ahead and ask Siri to pick a number. We were supposed to pick this time between the number 10 and 70. So hold on one second while I get the um, Siri. Hey Siri, can you pick a random number between 10 and 70, please? A random number between 10 and 70 is 70. Ooh, did y'all hear that? I'm not even trying to be yelling in your ear, but this girl just said 70. Somebody is about to get $70. Oh I'm not my sure goodness. I understand. Uh oh, wait a minute. Let me turn off Siri. The craziest part is I don't know if anybody actually picked 70. Who's winning the money today? All right, so in order to find the winner, I'm just going to go here to YouTube Studio and then I will go over to my TubeBuddy button, which does not seem to be here. And then I will go over to my TubeBuddy button and then click on pick a winner. And so I'm looking for a winner who had the number 70. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, Faye Jacobs. I remember that I saw her comment. She said, my favorite food is eggplant Parmesan. My number is 70. Faye Jacobs. Uh, ma'am, you just won $70. Yes, you did. And the reason why I remember her comment is because my boyfriend loves eggplant Parmesan. He loves eggplant in general. And I'm not that big of a fan of eggplant because of the texture, but I do like eggplant Parmesan. Isn't that ironic? Maybe because it's fried or baked, either one. Um, but anyway, Faye, you won. Reach out to me on Instagram so you can go ahead and collect your $70. All right, y'all, let's get on with the rest of the video. What I didn't mention is for this next giveaway, which it will be coming up very shortly because I have another video I need to get out pretty quickly. Um, and so the next time that we pick a number, we're going to pick a number, let's shorten the range. I feel like if we have a shorter range, there'll be more people picking some of the same numbers. And then, you know, it could be you just from the random picker. So let's do this time between 40 and 50. 
You have to comment between the number 40 and 50 in order to be included. And the secret question will be embedded somewhere within the video. And then you have to be subscribed and you could possibly win on my very next video a chance at winning $40 to $50, whatever Siri picks, okay? The other thing is, I'm probably gonna put out a video in the next two days. So if you're watching this, get in there and put your number down. And if you're watching this after two days of the release of this, then you're probably just a little bit too late. Sorry, next time. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the planners. So I'm gonna organize them um, from oldest to newest, because that's the best way that I can explain it. So first, let me just organize them. I think I have seven products total. All of these planners are sold on Amazon. There is a link down below in my description box for my Amazon storefront. And if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these books, then you can find them down below on Amazon, okay? They're very affordable. They help on your cash budget journey. And yeah, I have been loving them. And just so you know, the very first budget book was created for myself <laughs> because I couldn't find what I was looking for. And so I created it for myself. I remember that day that I created it and then I spoke to my boyfriend about it. And once the book was actually delivered to me, I was super nervous to bring it to you guys because I thought, what if they don't like it as much as I do? You know, I'm not really a professional in any way at doing this. Yeah, I just was very, very nervous, but I do believe on the other side of fear, um, walking through fear, you know, on the other side is a reward for your faith. And so you always have to walk through the things that make you most uncomfortable with faith and on the opposite side, you will receive a reward. And I have been rewarded greatly from these books due to the huge support you guys have offered me here on this channel. So first and foremost, let me just say thank you. Thank you to you guys. I really, really appreciate all the support you've already given. All right, so I'm gonna break down each book because some people have been asking me, I know there's a lot of new subscribers since I put out. Every time I launch a book, I put out a video. There is a playlist listed, um, on my channel, which says, and I'll try to link it here. You pretty much would go to the channel, then you would go to playlists and you'll be able to see one that says um, cash planners. And it has a review for each individual planner. Some of them are combined. Cause like if I release two books at one time, I put them into one video, but pretty much there's a review on each individual book there. But for today, I thought it would be a good idea since there's so many people new, welcome aboard. Um, <laughs> It's like, it's like when I go on a, on a Delta or a Southwest fly, they say, welcome aboard AirTran or welcome aboard Delta. Yeah, it's like that. Welcome aboard uh, Bellamente di tu y yo. <laughs> I don't even know if I said it right that time. But anyway, welcome aboard if you're new here. And I want to be able to provide you with the information you need so you can make a good choice about which planner would be best for you if you're thinking of purchasing. And that's what this video comes from, a comment that I received that asked for just that. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start with the oldest, the granddaddy. Um, <laughs> this was the book that I created at first for myself. And um, I made it black and white because as you guys know, or if you've been here for a while, my favorite color is black. So that's how I came up with the cover. And this is the easy cash budget planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. And when I first created this planner, I was thinking about doing it for biweekly pay periods. Um, because at that time, I am a nurse. I still am a nurse. Um, I worked very hard for that license, so I am still a nurse. But when I was creating this planner, I was working as a nurse and I got paid every two weeks. So that's why I created it. I made this planner belongs to page so that you can put your title. And then I did have a breakdown of how all the pages will be used. And this is what's actually housed in here. So we'll kind of go through this tracker page just so I can kind of explain. This page is a monthly projected planner page and you use this to forecast your expenses for the month. Estimate your income, bills, cash envelopes, sinking funds, and any savings, and all actual numbers will be written on the bi-weekly budget page. So the first page you're going to come to in this planner will be the monthly page, okay? The monthly spread is just for you to be able to break out everything you think you will be getting throughout the month. But of course, things can go up or can go down. And I'll link a budget video with me up here, how I explain what you do when things actually vary from what you projected, okay? So that video will be linked. That's the first page that's included in every month in this particular planner. And then there's some bi-weekly budget sheets and those look like this. I included three of them per um, month 
Three of them per month, yes, because sometimes there's a magic month where you'll get a third paycheck even though you're getting paid bi-weekly. And so it just has a spot for you to put your income, your bills, your cash envelope, sinking fund savings, and then final total. And right after that is two cash stuffing trackers so you can actually break down how much money you need to pull out of the bank. And then after that is some expense tracking. Um, if you want to do expense tracking for a certain category, you can do that on this page. And behind that, there was a debt repayment planner. I've never used this, but this is actually where you would list your creditors, your due dates, the minimum amount, payment amounts, and the estimated payments. And then it goes into the next month, which is the monthly budget tracker, okay? Monthly budget planner, rather. And so that just continues all the way through the back of the book. Basically, in every month, you get these particular pages with the monthly budget planner, the three of the bi-weekly budget planners, two of the cash stuffing trackers, and one expense tracker, as well as a debt repayment planner, okay? So that's what's included in this book. This book, like I said, was specifically used so that you could budget for 12 months. It's not dated. Um, and it's for a bi-weekly or semi-monthly pay schedule. So that's what this book would be for, okay? <laughs> After I created that book, I got a lot of requests for people who got paid weekly. And of course, if you get paid weekly and you're trying to use that black book, it only has three bi-weekly budgeting pages per month. And so when you get paid four, sometimes five in a magic month, you would get five pay periods as a weekly employee. You didn't have enough space in that planner. So you'd have to roll over to the next month. So everyone kept asking. So I created the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. And this time I decided to add color. <laughs> okay, so I added the pretty pink flowers on this one. Now, this book is very similar to the other book. I put some flowers in the front to say this planner belongs to. It still has the same page. And then all on one sheet, I have a breakdown of what's included in this, in this planner. And it's very similar to the other one. It has the monthly projected sheets. It has some weekly budget planner pages, cash stuffing trackers, expense trackers, and debt repayment planner. Okay. Um, the only difference is I added an affirmation page in the front of every month and you also could write down a financial goal for the month. So that's in the beginning of every month. But then similarly to the bi-weekly book, you have a monthly projected planner where you can project for the whole month. And I decided I like to have the cash stuffing tracker next to the budget planner. So I kind of kept this format for this book. So you have a weekly budget planner where you would actually work out your actual paycheck and then a cash stuffing tracker that goes with it. And you have that five times in this book because if you get paid weekly, you get paid every four times a month and on magic months, you get a fifth paycheck. After that, I have the expense tracker, which if you need to track some expenses, you can do that here. And the debt repayment planner, same thing as in the other one, is just a little bit more floral. And then we move on to the next month. For this affirmation, I am achieving financial freedom with a monthly goal and you go on, okay? For this book, it has about, I think I said 11, it says 12, but I think there's 11 months, 11 months worth of planning in this one. There's not quite a full year because when I added the affirmation pages, it took away some of the volume. So there's about 11 months worth of tracking in this book, but this is great for weekly budgeters. I also use this for my side income. When I was still using the black book for my regular paycheck income, I used, I also got this one for myself and I use this one for all of my side income. Because when I was receiving my side income, it was coming a little at a time. And so there's a lot of budgeting sheets in here for me to budget, you know, my Etsy income, my YouTube income, my book sales, you know, every little piece, my Amazon affiliates program, every little piece of income, I could do it in this one book. And my regular job, I still kept in the black and white book. So this is the second book that I created. All right, next up, I went a little bit out of my comfort zone, just a little bit, but <laughs> the next book I created, I wanted to include some savings challenges because it was right around the time that I was creating this book that savings challenges was just beginning to blow up. And I thought, why purchase savings challenges when you can have it all in one in your planner? So I made the Easy Cash Budget Planner with Savings Challenges Special Edition. And I did price this one a little bit higher I mean, all of the books range between $10 to $15, every single book that I offer. But this one right here is on the higher end of that. And that's just because it had savings challenges included with the planner. 
Some people ask for a calendar spread. And mind you, as you guys are giving me suggestions down in the comment section, I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking how I can incorporate it into my next book that I'll be releasing. So people were asking for calendar um, spreads. They were asking for more tracker sheets for people that do tracking, expense tracking on every category, you know, so they wanted more expense tracker room. Um, and then I wanted to include the savings challenges because I wanted one planner that kind of had it all. So that's where this book actually came from. So this one's the most different from the other ones, but I'll go ahead and show you what's in, what's in here. All right. So it has still this planner belongs to this one was more plant-based and I like the neutral colors of this. I know it's pink and green and that's like a sorority color, but it wasn't that for me. It's just, it looked beautiful, you know, and it was more like nature. And as you can see, most of my books, I have like a nature theme. Okay, so let's see, this planner belongs to, and then it goes directly into a two page spread, okay? So these pages are rather thin. Just be mindful of that of all my planners. That's how they're able to be so affordable. High cost, paper cost, that's just, Let's say that again, high cost paper costs. So for right now, this is what is very affordable and it works wonderfully, okay? I'm just not gonna tell you. All, all it's about is keeping track of your expenses and keeping yourself on budget, whether it's this book, the weekly book, the bi-weekly book, any of the savings challenges is all just tools to help you to be able to manage your money. So, you know, it doesn't have to be the most expensive to do that, but I will, I do have another option of something that was sent to me that I want to share with you guys. And if you're looking for something with a little bit more, you know, thicker paper or high end or in a, in a different format, I want to bring that to you as well. Okay. All right. So for this, this book particularly had a monthly plan page, like I said, so it has two calendar spreads, one, two, three, four, five, six, boxes down and seven across in case there's like the first is here and the 31st is here you have plenty of room to write in your dates it does have to-do lists and it has notes for the month okay so that's like the monthly and after that it comes with bi-weekly budgeter planner okay because if you have this this is kind of where you would lay out all of your bills what you need to pay um what is due, whose birthdays you're going to celebrate, whatever it is, plans for the month, you would lay that all out here. So I didn't put a monthly um, planner sheet in for projected because you kind of already know exactly what you need to pay by listening it all out on the two-page calendar spread, okay? So then you have the bi-weekly budget planner, and that's similar to the other budget book where it has income, bills, cash envelopes, sinking funds, and savings, and then a total is very similar to the other two. And the cash stuffing tracker, very similar, where you'll keep track of what it is you need to pull out of the bank. And it has, I believe, three of these. Yeah, so three of these because this is a bi-weekly budget planner, okay? And then after that, it does have expense trackers and it has more expense trackers than the other planner that's bi-weekly just because people had asked me for more room to expense track, okay? So I can track more than one category. I might bring a video using these pages. I did talk about possibly doing like a vlog of sort for um, a week showing you guys exactly what I spent down to the penny. And if that's the case, I'll need something like this expense tracker. So there's that. And after the expense tracker, it doesn't have a debt repayment page. It does have a note section. And then it has a bullet grid and you probably can't see it, but it's a dot journal bullet grid. Bullet. It's a bullet journal dot grid. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a bullet journal dot grid. And then it goes on to the next month, which is the two page calendar spread all over again. Okay. So it has all of that. And in the front here, it does say how it has two page calendar spreads. It's set up for six months on a bi-weekly or semi-monthly pay schedule. So this one has six months worth. And when you get to the end, it does have some savings challenges. Now, the savings challenges, first, before we get to that, because I didn't include the debt tracker, I did include a snowball debt tracker if you want to start your snowball, okay? And you're paying off some debts. So maybe I'll bring a video that'll show you exactly how to use this two-page spread for snowball debts. It, it can hold four debts per page, so you can have a total of eight in the book for the year, or you can do four and you'll have two years worth of snowball tracking, okay? And I might bring a video that'll show exactly how we fill this out now that I have a blank one of these. All right, next it has some savings challenges. So it has a $1,000 emergency fund because, you know, what Dave Ramsey says, get your $1,000 together. I believe it needs to be more than that, but this is a great start. So a $1,000 emergency fund. Then it has the savings tracker, which is similar to the jar of hearts challenge. You will put down what you want the fund to be for. So let's say you want it to be for a computer. You'll say the goal is $1,500 and you would take 1,500 divided by 42 hearts and it'll tell you how much you need to save for every heart. So that's what this one's for. 
Next is the vacation tracker. And I use this one to do my spring break envelope. Every pair of flip-flops, I set mine for 200, but you can set it for whatever you want. So for mine, it was spring break. That's what the fund was for. Each flip-flop, there's 23 pairs. Each flip-flop pair equaled 200. So the total goal was 4,300 because it's 200 times 23. And that's how I use this sheet. There's a $1,000 challenge to save $1,000 in 30 days. This was the very first savings challenge I did, and I was surprised at how fast I got to it. Actually, when I was creating it, I was surprised that you can save 10, 15, 25, 40s, 50s, and 60s and get there so quickly. So yeah, there's that. And then there was the house savings goal, which I'm still using this from our hardwood floor. So I'm saving for hardwood floors. Each house equals $100 for me. There's 56 houses, so the goal will be $5,600 for me, but you can set this up what you want. If you want every house to be $10, so you can get to a $560 goal to replace a dishwasher. There you go. Our dishwasher is $560? I don't even know. But um, <laughs> that's how you would set that up. And then lastly, there was a three to six month emergency fund savings tracker. And for this one, I am still working on this as well. I wanna try to get to six months goal. I made the monthly expenses for my household $4,000. And then I divided that by 10. So each section of this jar is $400. As I say 400, I color and I'm up to almost two jars worth at this point, almost 8,000. But I really need to get to like $24,000. Okay, that's the long-term goal for me. And the last thing I had was a yearly planner goals. So if you wanted to list out your goals for the year, um, you can do this and you can come back here every month to reflect upon them, or you can list annual goals for each month as you go. You know what I mean? You don't have to do the whole year at a time. And that'll help you to kind of like have something to check off as a to-do list of what you need to get done for the month or what you're trying to shoot for for the month. And that is it. That's everything for this book. And that's the Easy Cash Budget Planner with Savings Challenges Special Editions. It does have some of the savings challenges on the back just so you know what it is you're getting inside. After I created that book, I was confident that I could create a savings challenge planner. And at this point, saving challenges were just bursting on the scene of the cash stuffing community, like seriously. And this was right around the holiday season. And I thought, I'm going to get this book and I'm going to make it because this way they can give it to people for Christmas gifts and, you know, use it themselves to save. And we can all be financially strong in 2022. Quick question. Have you purchased any of my planners? And if you have, which ones do you have right now? That's what I want you to leave down below with your number. All right, so let's see. The Easy Cash Budget Savings Challenge Planner was created to be a book 100% of savings challenges. There's no planner pages in here. There's nothing for you to book, do a budget with. It's just all savings challenges. And again, all my books are between $10 and $15. So I can create about 30 savings challenges for very affordable when you think per challenge, you know? So that's the reason why I created this book. So let's get into this. I still have this planner belongs to so that you can list your name, that this is yours, especially if you have multiple people doing the challenge book in one family. And then this is just how to save. And it talks about how there's several sheets that'll help you. There's 30 savings challenges and they're all different. So I'm not going to do a complete flip through of this book because it's been done before. I will link the video up here so you can see every single page of what's included in this book if that's what you're interested in. Um, but for this one, I had a honeycomb challenge with larger amounts, car savings tracker. Did not know I was going to need this, but um, your girl might need to be using that as well. There's 30 cars on this page. There's things like the mosaic, um, the Disney savings, vacation tracker. Um, the, some of the things that are in the specialty book are in this book as well. So let's see. Saving 2,000, saving 5,000, and then it has some repeats. Um, saving 2,000, 1,000, 2,000 again. It has a house saving tracker like in the back of the special edition. It has some sweet sinking funds and some other ones in regards to YouTube that I use. Coloring challenges, 52 weeks, $1 challenge. Um, there's quite a few challenges in here, but again, but again, the video will be linked above. So if you want to see page by page what's in this planner or any of the planners, go to the link for the playlist up above and then find this particular planner, okay? And that's this book. This is the Easy Cash Budget Savings Challenge Planner and you guys showed this book so much love. At the same time that I created that book, I also created an easy mini cash budgeting planner for budgeting with cash envelopes and sinking funds. This little mini book can fit in the back of your A6 binder and it is so cute. And actually, let me show you exactly how it fits inside of the A6. This is an Agenda 52. Um, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. 
but any of the mini planners that I have, they fit back here. So for this one, you just take the back page or cover and slide it in and it fits like that. Wait a minute, let me fasten it so I can show you guys. Okay, and it's like this in here, okay? So, it's kind of sad that there's no cash in this video. That's what I feel like. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, so for this one, the easy mini cash budgeting planner with budgeting for sinking funds, cash envelopes and sinking funds, just know that it's really similar to the other budgeting planners. It's just really tiny, okay? It has this planner belongs to, and I hope you guys can see it. And then it has a breakdown of every page, just as the other ones did. And it has, like the weekly planner, the little bitty affirmation and the little monthly budget. I did use this in one video, and this is how I budgeted out everything but it's so small on camera that it's hard to see. It's not too small in person. If you write small, you can totally use it and carry it with you. It's very portable. But if you're someone who writes pretty big, I mean, the areas are small. You see, I filled it out with no issue. So there's this um, weekly planner budget, and I believe there's five of those because this one's set up very similar to the weekly budget book. Book is exactly the same as the Easy Cash Budget weekly planner with the pink flowers on the front. It's the exact same one, except it is just mini version. Okay. So it has expense tracker, debt repayment planner. And then the only difference is I added a notes page. So you can jot down some notes real quick at the end of the month. That's the only difference from the weekly one. And then it goes back to this. This one has 10 months worth of budgeting in this little mini book, and it can fit inside your, your binder and be portable. And that's the reason why I created this one. And so, yeah, that's the easy mini cash budgeting planner for budgeting with cash envelopes and sinking funds. And then there's the last trio of books that I just released. And that is this one first and foremost, which is another mini size because I felt like the mini planner did really well. So I thought maybe I'll make a mini size cash envelope, I mean, savings challenge planner. So this is the easy mini cash budget, 1000 or less savings challenge planner. Before I get to this one, let me talk about this one. I, de I decided to make an easy cash budget, 1000 or less savings challenge planner next. And that was because so many people said, do you have any challenges that are more for smaller incomes? And that made total sense to me because not everyone can afford to save, you know, $5,000 or $2,000 or a thousand. And sometimes little small baby steps get you to larger amounts. And I love that even for myself. That's the reason why I like to do like my little mini scratch off challenge cards, because you might only save like $75 or $200. You can roll that over into another envelope and start to save for something else. So I received a comment in my comment section. Again, you guys have always inspired me to do greater things. And they asked, a few people had asked me if I can create something for smaller budgets. And so that's where this book was born from, okay? So it's the Easy Cash Budget 1000 or less savings challenge planner. And again, I stayed with some type of earth. So that's why it has the trees and trees on the inside. And I have a full page by page flip through of this book as well. So I will link that video right here if you're interested in it. But for right now, I'll go through some of the challenges that it has. This one has 30 challenges as well. They're a little different than the other savings challenge book just because they're smaller amounts. I first and foremost included the penny challenge, which if you're here, you already know it's a free download in my description box. If you don't know that, head down there, print it for free because that's one of the pages that's in here. And that is a free challenge for anyone that watches my videos. Um, after that, I put the honeycomb challenge, but I put it with smaller amounts instead of 10s, 20s, and 30s. I have some $2, some $3, some $5, and you fill in the rest as you like. I have the mosaic challenge and because it equaled $528, I thought I'd just leave it here. I had save $100 in 30 days, a couple of those, a couple of save $200 in 30 days. It still amazes me that like amounts that are less than like, let's say $12, that's what this one saved $200. Everything is less than $12. Oh no, 13, there's a 13. Everything's less than $13 that you're saving on this page and you can somehow end up with $200. That is amazing to me. So I have a few of those in here and then I have a few 500 just in case you wanna push yourself. Nothing is larger than $31 I think is the highest number on this page. So you can color in those. I have the jar of hearts challenge, which is similar to the other challenge, but I actually put the dollar amounts in the hearts so you didn't have to calculate it and it adds up to $450. And let me tell you guys, I'm not a professional, so it's possible that some of these numbers don't add exactly up. Please, please, please give me grace. 
Okay. <laughs> Give me grace. It, it might be. I think someone told me one of the challenges, I don't remember which one, said it didn't add up. It added up to like 445 instead of 450 or something along those lines. Just please give me grace, okay? Um, there's the vacation tracker where each beach ball would equal five, the flip-flops 10, and the sun 20, and you will have saved $360 in this book. There's the coffee tea savings challenge where you can save up half of whatever you spend on coffee towards a savings fund, okay? Because you're just like kind of paying yourself as you're paying Starbucks or Dunkin'. There's the Be Kind Challenge, but this time I filled in the dollar amount so you can actually save $200 if you've colored in this whole challenge. And it's also a coloring page, which is pretty fun. There's a Christmas Challenge where you can save $200. And this might be the one that they added up saying that it didn't add to $200. I'm not sure, but anyway. There's a Gift Savings where you can put a goal and then there's 45 gifts on this page. So if you wanted to save $450, you make the goal $450. Each gift would equal $10 and you will end up with $450 to save up for a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. And there's a few of those because of that reason or a Mother's Day gift, which is coming up soon. Um, there's a one month ahead challenge where you actually can say how much each one of these equal. There's 30 little money bags on this page. And so you'll say how much each one of the money bags equals and that you're saving for a certain bill. Like let's say you want to save up a month ahead for your gas bill and your gas bill is usually $90. Then you would make each one of these little money bags $3 and you would say three, six, nine, all the way down until you got to 90 and your goal amount is 90, okay? So there's a few of those in case you wanna get ahead on some bills. There's four to be exact. There's a birthday fund where you can save $10 per hat, end up with $300 for a birthday. There's a rainy day savings challenge fund, save $15 for every cloud and you'll end up with $450. There's Let's Save Together, which I'm on this one because I still am amazed that numbers one through nine can equal $450 on this page, but it works. So there's that. And then there's Putting the Puzzle Together where every single piece is $10 and there's 54 little pieces, so it's $540. And then the $1,000 emergency because again, we should have some type of emergency fund, so I added a tracker in for that. And that is it for this book. And that's the Easy Cash Budget Thousand or Less Savings Challenge Planner. Now, the reason why I wanted to discuss that one before this one is because the flip through of this one is exactly the same. It's the exact same book. It's just in mini format. So it can fit in the back of your A6 binder. You guys have been loving the little minis. This one is super thin. So it doesn't take up a lot of space in your binder because there's literally 30 savings challenges in here. And yeah, it is just a really cute, fun way to save, which is what it's all about. And people have been gifting this little book to their kids and having them save a part of their allowance. I mean, the stories go on and on in the comment section. And I really appreciate all the love that this book has gotten and all of my other planners as well. You guys have just shown so much love. I really, really, truly appreciate it. The final book that I just released was the Easy Cash Budget Monthly Planner. And this is specifically because so many people that are on like disability, SSI, only get paid once a month, live in another country where they only get paid once a month, asked me to create a monthly budget planner. And so I did. It's very similar to the bi-weekly and the weekly because we're doing the same thing. We're just on different pay periods. So we might need a different amount of budgeting sheets, but it's pretty similar. I have this page belongs to, this planner belongs to. And it goes directly into the affirmation page. I didn't have a breakdown of what each page does, but it goes directly into the affirmation page with the goal. After that, it has a notes page. And that's just because when you get paid once a month, you might need to remember some things that you need to do the following month. You can jot it here until you get to your projected month budget, or you could do your projected budget and think about, oh, but I might need to do this. Let me jot that here. And when it comes up, you'll know to flip back to this page when you actually get paid. So this is projected what you wanna do with your monthly budget. And then this is actually what you wanna do with your monthly budget. I also thought about in this book, because you only get paid once a month, you probably need a sinking fund tracker. And I believe someone else had mentioned they wish that the other planners had a sinking fund tracker, okay? Which I do sell a sinking fund tracker down in my Etsy store that digitally you can download and keep track of your sinking funds month to month, but I thought it was a good idea. And while I can't go back and create the old planners, I can definitely add it into the new ones. So I created a sinking fund tracker for the month. You can write down your categories, your balance, what your plus or minus, and what your ending balance is for the month for all your sinking funds. Next is cash stuffing trackers. And I put two in here just in case you messed up on one or in case you had more sinking funds than would a lot on one page. And that's the reason why there's two of these for one monthly budget. 
And then there's end of month thoughts, which is a, a dot grid journal and also a notes page again for the end of the month thoughts that you might have you want to carry into the next month. And we move forward. Monthly budget, sinking fund tracker. The actual budget, because the other one's projected, as well as the cash stuffing tracker. And there's two of those. And then the end of month thoughts. And then we're moving on to a new one. Okay. So it's the same layout over and over again. And there's 10 months worth of um, sheets for the monthly budget or planner. And it's just if you needed a planner to budget your monthly income, you can do it all in one place. That is the last planner that I've created. Really hope you got a greater understanding of where I'm coming from. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see in a book or how you'd like it to be changed to customize to you or different pages or sheets that you think would be helpful, list that down below. I do have these three planners on Etsy. These two come as one download because it's the same book, but it's offered in A6 size as well as full eight and a half by 11 sheet size. And then I also have the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. I happen to list this one on the Etsy site in this size. Happy planner size, A6, and half sheet. So if you're looking for some budgeting pages, I do have that link down below as well. It's an instant digital download and you can print it on whatever paper, however you wanna hole punch, whatever type of planner you wanna put it in, go for it, okay? It's one price for all those different sizes. So yeah, I think that is everything. I appreciate you guys for being here. I hope you guys got a greater understanding of the products that I offered and even the back end story as to how I actually came up with each individual planner. You guys continue to inspire me and I truly, truly wanna say thank you. Till next time, which will be very shortly, take care.